Pentecost was clear and concise and unquestionable. It's in Acts 2.38, 2, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He told us who needed to be baptized. He said every one of you. He told us how we were to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He told us why we're baptized for the remission of sins. He didn't leave any stone unturned. Nothing was left that wasn't solidly tied up, good and sound, so that it was clearly understood. And then as you go through the history of the early church in the book of Acts, you see that everywhere the gospel was preached. To every group of people, that same message was preached over and over and over again. We live in a time now where tradition has really taken its hold in most uh, denominations and uh, people are being told, you know, all you have to do is pray this little prayer and now you're born again. And unfortunately that is not what the Bible teaches. And uh, James said in the book of James chapter 2, faith without works is dead, being alone. And it does not mean the term works that we see in uh, James chapter 2 is not, it's not speaking of the works of the law, it's not speaking of quote unquote good works to try to earn salvation, it is talking about action. Faith without action is dead, being alone. Sometimes when you, in the King James translation, uh, you see the same word used in various places, but that does not mean that the original term uh, in the Greek is the same. You know, that it, sometimes they translate different words, but they use the same basic translation for it. That's why I love Oak Lawn. I love fields. Anyway, I am honored every single time that I have the opportunity to come to the water to baptize somebody in Jesus' name. It's a thrill for me. Literally, it's a thrill for me. I'm an imperfect human being. I have faults. I have weaknesses. I fail. And yet, God, in His divine wisdom, has seen fit to call me to ministry and give me the opportunity to be a part of people's relationship with God and establishing their record in heaven. And it is a thrill for me every single time to baptize someone in the name of the Lord. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. We won't delay any longer. We'll be getting down in here. Uh, no, I think I can do it. <laughs> I think... Thank God for all the hot weather we've been having. Right. This, water, this water is pretty warm. You know, it's it's very comfortable. It's not as shocky, you know, when you get into real. And I just want us to pray for a minute. We're not asking, there's no magic involved here. But this is a recreational pool. But right now it's going to serve a divine purpose. Amen. So let's just pray for a minute. Master, in the name of Jesus, we come before you right now, God, and we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to be in this place. We thank you, God, for souls that make a decision to serve you, to love you, to get to know you better. And God, today, uh, uh, Jordan has come with a desire, God, to be baptized in the name of the Lord for the remission of sin. And we just ask, God, that for this time, that this pool would be filled with the presence of the Holy Ghost. God, at this moment, this right now, is no longer a pool that's designed for recreational purpose, but this is a baptistry. It's a place that is consecrated and sanctified, God, uh, for the cause of the gospel of Christ. And we just ask you, Lord, to sanctify the water. Lord, sanctify this place. Let your presence reside upon us right at this moment, at this time, as we go about obeying you in this wonderful ordinance. Grant it this hour, we pray, for we ask it in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. We'll try to stand. We don't have to be real deep. You know. 
in your path, O oh God, and let us always walk in lockstep with you, for we ask it in none other than Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God bless y'all. Amen. 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 Am